Hey, what's up, YouTube? Basically, today I'm gonna be making a tutorial on how I mix my vocals in um, Cool Edit Pro. This is a really simple tutorial. It's just how uh, I mix my vocals. This is good for rapping. Um, I haven't really tested it with you know other songs like R&B and stuff like, but this is good for hip hop and rapping. And so yeah, um, this is for Cool Edit Pro. It, it's probably gonna work for Adobe Audition too because it's like just like a newer version of it and um, if you want to use any other like music editing program it'll probably have like the same effects just like copy down the settings but uh, yeah this is a cool edit pro tutorial so let's get started first what you want to do is you want to uh, record your vocals on either track one or two it doesn't matter it can be on any of the tracks, but usually it's good if it's the first or second one. So, yeah, just record it on track one or two or import it. Alright, so once you're done recording it, um, basically what you want to do is double click on the track or the, uh, the file, I guess, the layer, and then double click on it again to highlight the whole entire area. This is basically editing mode, the effect mode. And then what you want to do is first you you go to effect amplitude and amplify and then you choose center wave and then press ok and then for the second effect you go to effect amplitude dynamics processing and then you choose 4 colon 1 negative 24 very fast attack hit ok next you go to effect uh, delay delay effects and reverb then you choose, uh, well basically you want to like copy down these settings. First, the total reverb link is 250, attack time 10, high frequency absor absorption time 1812, smooth perception and echoey is 20, original signal 100, and reverb wet 35. Then if you don't want to do this over and over again, you just click add, and then you type in the name of the preset, I just named it rap reverb. And then press OK. Next, you want to go to Effects, Filters, and FFT Filter. Then you want to choose um, you choose uh, Mastering Gentle and Wide. Hit OK. Next is go to Effects, um, Filters, and Graphic Equalizer. Then you choose Spit Clear. Hit OK. Then you go to Effects. Uh, effects filters and parametric equalizer and you choose loudness down here in the bottom hit ok then you go to effects filters and quick filter then you have to choose either flat or bass bass boost um, whatever you want to choose I like bass boost just because it's it like it brings out your voice more hit ok then you go to uh, effects, amplitude, and hard limiting. And then copy this down. Uh, limit max amplitude is negative 6.5. Boost input is 1.8. Hook ahead time is 7. And release time is 100. And make sure link left and right is checked. And hit OK. And then the last one, the last effect, is going to uh, affect amplitude and normalize. Now this is really like different for any voice. It depends on how you record it and how, lo how loud your voice is and stuff. Um, I like to choose from within 60 to 90 percent. If you go to 110 percent, then it's gonna be all scratchy and stuff, and that's not good. So I choose 90 most of the time, and yeah. So that was a good. Uh, those are all the settings that I use. So if you want to listen to a preview of what the sounding sound like, or the setting sound like, just, um, well, it'll be after this. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys soon.